When I was young, I was just a little baby. I was living with my mom while she was in college with her roommate who had a dog. Me and this dog, we played together all the time and that dog would be what I consider as baby proof. This dog, it didn't really mind if you pulled on it and like if you step on its tail, it's not gonna hurt you. And it was a very safe dog to be around for me as a little baby. And one time me and this dog were sitting in front of the TV as usual and um, my mom heard me crying and she came and I had been bitten in the face by the dog and this seemed unprovoked. And my mom, she wanted to like kill the dog, but the owner wanted to keep it. And they both tried to keep the one that they loved. But should the dog be killed or given another chance? Sometimes it seems like dogs fight for no apparent reason, but what really happens is that we just don't know what the reason is. And um, so in a situation like this, what, what do you think you would do? Would you um, consider killing the dog or should it be given another chance? And because maybe I was, it was my fault. Maybe I was messing with the dog one too many times and it just snapped. So, so what happens after the dog bites? After the dog bites, um, most, of the, most people, they will, if they don't euthanize their dog, they will rehome them to give them a better life or they will give them up to shelters. But according to Brandon Guile, only one out of every three dogs that enters an animal shelter will de be adopted before it is euthanized. So when you send it off to a shelter, it's it doesn't mean that you're giving it a better life because it's more likely that it will be killed anyway. So what's better, to kill your dog now or wait for somebody else to do it? Dr. Danny McVetty, who is a vet, explained that most dogs she euthanizes at her clinic are very young and healthy with the looks of a longer life ahead of them and the potential to live years longer. So. As you can see, these dogs who are being euthanized because they bit one time, they are actually very healthy and otherwise, if they hadn't bite, they would have been to live much, much longer. Dr. Alana Reisner explains to us that biting dogs are at high risk of being resheltered, rehomed, when and bites seem mostly unprovoked. She goes on to explain that this indeed is never the case. It is important to note though that even unexpected bites rarely, if ever, occur with no reason. Bites are a warning to us, and they should be seen as so. Dogs are very expressive animals, and so it is very predictable to tell when they will bite. Um, in an article called, Do Dogs Ever Bite For No Reason? It states, the fact is, though, there is always a reason when a dog bites. You might not know what the reason is, but believe me, the dog knows. It could be, the dog could be sick. It could be reacting in a way because it is not healthy. That could be a factor. And also it could be that it just wants you to leave, leave it alone. And it's, consider this. If you're sick one day, you come up with the flu and like most people, you might just wanna lay in bed and want everybody to leave you alone. And, but what if your brother comes in and he just keeps bothering you over and over and over and over? How would you feel? You probably just want, to, want him to leave you alone. But if he comes back in again after you've told him many times to go away, you're probably gonna yell at him or something, right? Well, that's probably how the dog feels most of the time because he has no other way to tell you to go away than to growl or other signs such as hunching over, looking away, and biting. <laughs> um, when a few years ago, I went to Taiwan on a trip with my family and we were staying at a mountain home with many, many stray dogs living everywhere. 
my dad was exploring one time, and he came up to a shed. Right as he walked into the shed, a female dog came and bit his leg. This seems unprovoked, right? But at the sound of puppies, he knew what happened. This mother was only protecting her babies. So in this case, this understanding the factors is really important. This is just one of many examples when all factors are needed to draw conclusions. So when dogs give signs off, it is most of the time people don't recognize them. And without recognizing them, they don't follow them. Though they may look out of the blue, they are very predictable when you know what to look for. Dogs don't bite and for no reason. And an author said that the problem is that often people don't know what a dog sees as provocation. In other words, we don't know what to look for. When we don't know what to look for, someone might get hurt. And for example, if a small child gets bit by a dog and is old enough to remember the experience very vividly, she may grow up and fear dogs and she'll miss out on loving human dog connection. Or a stranger could be bit by your dog and file a complaint, which then banishes your dog from the outside world. Those are just a few consequences of not understanding the dog's warnings. People, under people need to understand that the human language is not really understood by dogs. And the opposite is also true. Most of the time when the dog is um, heeding warnings towards you, giving off warnings, you don't understand what it's doing, so you ignore it. Do dogs, in the article, do dogs ever bite for no reason? This, the author states, this is dog language, you do not speak it. And when you tell a dog, it's okay boy, I'm not going to hurt you, he does not understand you either. But we can change the way we see our dogs to predict bites. We can prevent guiltless dogs from being taken away from families who love them by looking for signs and fully evaluating a biting situation before coming to conclusions. Dr. Reisner stated, an uncomfortable dog may yawn, flick his tongue, lift his leg, lower his head or body, may roll on his back, may urinate, and may look away or avoid eye contact or look at you with whale eyes. You need to not only be aware of general dog behavior, but also your own dog's personal behavior. What might set the dog off? What makes it uncomfortable? What does it not like? Dogs have their own personal preferences and what they do and do not like. A lot like humans. And you can understand how they would react to certain things and then you'll know what to look out for. For example, if you're walking your dog outside and your dog seems very uncomfortable about this approaching stranger and you know that this is probably not a situation I want my dog to be in because it does not want to be near this person. But if the person comes up and pets the dog, the dog, is who is obviously scared of this person, may bite because it's like, whoa, hey, why are you touching me? And then the stranger is like, what? I just came up to this dog to pet it and it bit me. That is totally unprovoked. But since you knew what to look for, you knew that your dog is a good dog and does not need to be put down because it was clearly showing signs that he was uncomfortable. Okay, so with your help, we can prevent innocent dogs from being put down because you know what to look for. And if your dog bites someone, you can understand the situation better. You can ask yourself, why would my dog bite in this situation? Did, did somebody set off my dog? For example, um, if a dog is being 
a dog tied outside is being harassed by kids. These kids are messing with this dog. They're hitting it, chasing it, teasing it, poking it, throwing stuff at it. And this dog gets close enough to bite one of them. And this person complains, it is not the dog's fault and should not be put down because they, those kids, they were harassing this dog and it was their fault. And if you need to, you can seek professional help to take a look at your dog. For example, if your dog has recently been acting weird, you could take it to the vet. And the vet can check out your dog and see if, if anything's wrong. Or if you need to, you can hire a professional trainer to improve your dog's behavior. Lastly, don't force your dog upon situations that may make it uncomfortable. And doing so will reduce the chances that your dog may bite. Then, one by one, innocent lives will be changed from a sudden death to a promising future full of growth. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.